All right, bro. What's good, man? Not shit. Not shit. Get, get, driving around right now. I have you, the day off. Oh, you got the day off and you driving around? You 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 got time to talk, man? Can we get it in? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. All right. Kevin back in the building. Wow. My guy. <laughs> it's been a minute. It has been a minute. So yeah. let me let me get everybody caught up. So uh Kevin uh was on the show uh, a little while ago. I believe you just got your CDLs through Prime. And uh, uh -huh. and what made you stand out from the rest was the fact that you had a, a Prime tattoo on your arm. So we reached, right. we reached out, we got, we got it in, had a good conversation and, um, and, uh, great times, great stories, but, uh, we kind of broke away for a little bit. You got into, uh, doing your thing. Uh, what have you been doing since we talked, bro? Uh, well, just been still working. I, I don't work for prime no more. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I don't work for them no more. So I just went to a different company and now I'm here pretty quick. I'm going to be going local. Wait a minute. Let's, let's. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Let's back up for a minute. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's what brought us together. Uh, uh there was a post or, um, uh, not a post, but, you know, the memory through uh, Facebook. And I believe your, yeah. your, your picture popped back up. And someone in the comment yeah. session uh, said, yeah, bro, don't uh, drive for Prime no more. And my guy, uh, Wild Beard, shout out to Wild Beard, uh, tapped me in the post and uh, reached out to me. He said, yeah, that guy you talked to uh, back in the day. He don't work for Prime no more. I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Ah, uh, so, bro, what uh, what happened? I mean, the last time we spoke, I mean, you, I mean, your your loyalties was 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 concrete with uh, with Prime. And and the fact that you had the tattoo on your arm sort of solidified that like. What happened, bro? Uh, some some stuff went down. I got. I just figured it was best for me to to uh, make make better. You know, how can I say it? Um, just leave the company. It was just better to do it that way. So I left the company and went to another truck company and. Uh, getting ready to go local because reason why is because life's too short i don't like being behind a wheel so i mean it was just just between me and it was between me and prime it was just it was better for me to just leave you know it's just stuff came up that wasn't you know and we'll just leave it that to that <laughs> Do not be coy or stupid, Persian. You can afford neither in Sparta. What makes this woman think she can speak among men? How long you was with Prime before you decided to leave? I was with him for two years. Now, again, Prime was was the company that you 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 went to to get your CDL and everything, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, did you? Did did you go company with them or did you go lease with them or what which route did I you was, went? I was company with them. Okay. I okay. was company and then I went and then uh I became a pad trainer. So I helped people get their CDO license. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Well I I'm 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 gonna assume that the situation with Prime kinda got soured uh later down the line and I, I could hear in your voice that you you really don't want to talk about it so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push or anything like that um what I am gonna ask is uh wh what is your after what happened to you uh, and after you left 
will you still right. suggest Prime for new drivers? Oh, yeah. It's a good school. You know, whatever happened between me and Prime, I'm not going to bash them, you know. That's that's just not how my character is. But it, they got me my start. They got me my CDL, changed my life, um, got me out of a tough situation in life. So, oh, yeah. If there's any new drivers out there, new people that are wanting to get their CDL, um, I would recommend them to go to Prime. Oh yeah, of course. All right, so let's uh let's let's talk about it, bro. What 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 about that tattoo? What, what? <laughs> oh, it's still there and it's gonna stay there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna get it covered up. It's it's my body. I've you know they gave me my shot. My body tells me my story. I've got other tattoos on my body that tells my life story of the hardships I've had to go through and everything like that. So prime gave me my shot, changed my life. And it's still going to stay on the forearm. And if anyone, this is me on it. It's all good. It's my body. Did when you, when, when you went to them and said, Hey, I'm about to say sire an hour. Did anybody did anybody or like the owner or anybody like that reached out to you and been like, hey, since you're leaving Prime, bro, uh, you, you're going to have to get rid of you. You're going to have to do something with that tattoo. We, we don't want since you're not associated with us. We don't want to be associated with you. Uh, have you had any type of conversations like that? Nope, not yet. And and if I do get the conversation, they can pay for it because I pay for it to come on. So if it does, if it does come up saying, "Oh, you need to get rid of it," well, they can they can pay for it to be covered up. I'm not paying for it. It was a lot of attention to detail and a lot of detail that went yeah. into uh, into that tattoo. Um, how yeah. again? And I know this was a while ago. How much how much was it and how long did it take to to finish? Um it was a 4 hour job and it took cost me 500 bucks. Wow, 500 bucks. Now let me now let me ask yeah. you this. Now that I now that I think about it. I I did a I I did a episode on a young lady that got uh that got scammed uh off of TikTok. And I brought in one of my oh. one of my favorite uh, tattoo truckers. Her her name is uh, Camille, and we had a whole yeah. we had a whole episode about this young lady being scammed out of six thousand dollars, and she had to uh, pay this person a consultation fee, uh, give a deposit, and all like that. Let me ask you, as being that you you say you got. Uh, tattoos done and and all the tattoos on you are significant to what you went through in life right but how did right. you how did you go or how do you go by uh searching for a tattoo artist that you're comfortable in tattooing your body choose your next words carefully Leonidas they may be your last as king um my number one rule is, is I don't let no one touch my body unless they've had 10 years of experience. That's my, that's my golden rule. <laughs> um, other than that, I look at their art and everything. And by then, I, I can tell by their art, their line work and everything like that, if I like them or not. But my, my number one rule is no one touches me unless they got 10 years experience on them. Because they've already did their apprenticeship, they've already found out, you know, their their mistakes, what they're good at, what they're not good at. They'll tell you the truth if they, you know, if they don't feel comfortable doing a portrait, they'll tell you. But you know, you get these new guys sometimes. No offense, they got to learn somehow. But um, if they don't feel comfortable doing a portrait, well, all they see it as money. Well, I like it's my body. It tells me, it tells my story. So I don't want to be, I don't want to have a tattoo that I'm going to get messed up or they're going to mess up on and I, get, and I have to get it fixed or I'm going to regret it. 
How many tattoos that you that that you got all together, uh, Kevin? I have thirty six tattoos. Now let me ask you this: Do you have any piercings or anything like that, or just tattoos? I have two piercings. That's it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Camille, she got man. I I think she got about over thirty. Uh, she just recently um got her arm did, I believe. Um. Okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I love hearing stories of of people that have tattoos because they some of them like the, the to me like the garbage home tattoo that you get at a at a at a home party because you're drunk or something like that don't count. But <laughs> but like but like right. <laughs> but like majority of y'all tattoos is like significant to what y'all went through in life. So what was your right. very what was your very first tattoo and what was the significance of you getting that first tattoo? Um well my first tattoo when I I got when I was 16 years old my my grandmother signed for me to get it done. It's around my arm on my right uh right bicep and it's got five skulls. And those five skulls are when I was younger I've never been able to, I was never able to see my siblings. Um, we were all split up. We all went, my brothers and sisters were all in a, in a home and I got adopted by my grandmother. So the three, the five skulls that go across is I never met them until I got the age of 19. Then we started finally starting to meet up with each other. So that was my first tattoo. So now fast forward, 2023 uh you you mm -hmm. decided to uh you decided to leave prime alone and you are working uh solo now or you're local now or where, where are you at right now um right now i'm a i'm a lease guy lease operator um but now i'm i had a interview today to go local so i can start spending more time with my wife and and actually start seeing my children a lot more because I don't have my children. My ex-wife has my children. So would this it, be this? Would this be the same wife that uh, that we talked about when we first met, or is this uh, a different correct. lady? Oh, this the same one. Okay. Uh, okay. Same wife. Yep. All right. What was her? What was her? <laughs> what was her expression when you came to her and said, "Hey, honey, um, I'm about to leave Prime." <laughs> what was what was her expression? Yeah. What she said? She she was shocked, um, but she she understood the reason. And as long as I was happy, she was okay with it. She didn't want me to be, you know, miserable or anything like that. If it was the wrong choice for me to make, and we we had a long discussion about it, and it, we took off from there. Yeah, she was she was your big supporter. I, I remember us uh talking yeah. about her. Um talking about her and I asked you I asked you how how she felt about you getting the tattoo and everything. So she was uh she was your she still is your big supporter. Oh yes. Yes she is. Yeah. And I'm just the same way. I'm a big supporter for her. She we started her own business in Springfield. So with me being a lease operator, it helped me to start her business here in Springfield. So y'all still stay out in Springfield, Missouri? Yep. I still, we both still live in Springfield, Missouri. We, we don't plan on ever moving away from here. Because the reason why you moved down there in the first place was to go through uh, trucking school with Prime. And, and you, of course, you put in the two years uh, with Prime. That was the whole reason of you moving down there, right? Yeah. And then my wife just fell in love with this, you know, scenery and everything like that. She lived in Florida for 32 years. So she, she, she got tired of seeing palm trees all the time. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can ever get tired of warm weather. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I don't think I could get tired of that, but it is what it is. Uh, Springfield right. sounds like a, a homey, uh, a homey type of city, somewhere where you can it actually is. raise kids and 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 retire, right? 
This is blasphemy. This is madness. This is Sparta! Again, uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. I, I, uh, I, I didn't expect that. I mean, from our first conversation, I mean, you was real, you was real excited. You, uh, and again, like I said, your loyalties with the company was, was like rock solid. And, and to hear that, yeah, to hear that you, uh, that you left, that you left and everything was, was kind of surprising, but I'm, I am happy and I'm damn yeah. glad that me and you was able to reconnect again. Uh, we definitely stay, we yeah. definitely stay Facebook friends by, behind the scenes. So it wasn't like we wasn't never, we, we wasn't never too far away from each other, but, but yeah, man, yeah, right. man, much, uh, much success on, um, on going local. I, I think, Thank I think the consensus of when people come into trucking, the end go well. The end goal for some is to go local. Well, let me ask you this: You say you want to go local. What type of local are we yeah. talking about? Are we talking about local? Uh, what 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 the what the uh, food trucks like Cisco, Old Dominion, or are we just talking local, like like a small company delivering in the area? What what type of local are we talking about here? Uh, I'll be delivering beer. Okay. Yeah. Anheuser-Busch? Hey, yep. hey. No. Coolers. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what's yeah. up. No, I won't do... Yeah. With e everything going on with Budweiser right now? No. <laughs> um, Driving a beer truck is far away from driving a, a, a semi truck. But I mean, I know it's the same concept and everything. Would this be an automatic? Would this be a manual? This this will probably be a lot of touch freight now that, that you uh driving the beer truck. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be delivering it, you know, touching about the, between 15 to 2,000 cases a day. Kevin, man, well, thank you very much for coming back on and uh, and, and catching up with me, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I know you're busy right now, man, so I'm going to let you get back at it. And I want you to uh, stay safe out there and everything, man. And let's, uh, let's catch back up again soon. Big cheese got it locked, boy. Want you to let me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real way, yeah, swimming around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound.